Hey, it's Barry here at Hooked on Headwaters, bringing you another edition of our Breaking Down the Lake here at Headwaters Lake into bite-sized pieces, giving you uh, really cool places to fish, giving you a little bit of direction on how to get there. And in this particular video, we're also going to show you two of the best baits to use for the deep sections of Headwaters Lake. You're going to want to check this out. It's going to come a little bit later in the video, but definitely worth hanging on for because uh, these are the baits that are going to put the big fish in the boat. And if you're coming from out of town, even in town, that's what you want to do. So uh, definitely hang on for that. We're going to go ahead and jump over to uh, Fellsmere Outdoor Adventures Bait and Tackle Shop with Pat Kelly, the owner, and uh, go over those two really, really effective baits. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into this video and get started. So uh, we've had a lot of requests for a video of something down in the very south end of the lake, and that's going to be this Egan area. So we decided to go ahead and do a deep area. We've been covering some shallower areas, so we want to go deep this time. So we went ahead and decided to go with this section right here. I'm going to zoom in on it. It's a lot different than the rest of the lake uh, as far as it being a wide open area. There's not much for floating vegetation around, at least that I've seen in here. Uh, it's pretty well open most of the time all the way around. You've got uh, sawgrass, reeds all the way around it. You've got hydrilla coming out uh, pretty thick out from the edges, oh, running to anywhere 15, 20 feet or so out in different areas. And then it just drops off. I mean, we're running, you know, maybe seven feet up tight to the edge of the hydrilla. And then you'll see a drop off 18 feet, 20. And then as we get out a little bit, 30 feet deep, lots of humps and bumps and ridges and just all kinds of places for fish to hang out. So this is the area we're going to talk about today. It's the area we're going to show you from a boat view. Uh, so right now, let's go ahead and talk about how to get here. And that's going to be by starting, obviously, at the ramp, which is way up here. This is a good trip down, so be prepared for a bit of a run. This is the parking lot here. This is the boat ramp. Okay, this is the S Canal. If you're not familiar with the S Canal, make sure that you watch our S Canal video. Just go ahead and click on our channel name after you get done watching this. And uh, while you're that close to clicking on it, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, notification bell. That way you can catch all of our videos. We've got some really cool stuff coming up, including what will be our weekly uh, fishing reports from uh, as far as the lakes. We're going to be starting a weekly fishing report covering uh, how the last the week past week did and what to expect with the week coming up. So uh, definitely going to want to check those out. They're going to be really good. We're going to have some different guests on and uh, really have a good time with those. So uh, you don't want to miss them. So definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, that, enough of that. Hey, coming down the Yes Canal, you're going to come all the way down to the East West Canal. If you haven't seen that video yet, check it out as well. We've got one that covers this canal. And then you're going to pick up the 45 degree. We also have a video on that. So you're going to want to check that one out. Right now and for quite some time, you're going to see a crane. They're doing some work down here. Um, on this levee here. So uh, you're going to see a big crane. So really the object is to aim for the crane and that's going to get you exactly where you want to be as far as picking up this canal to finish running all the way down. So um, that, that crane's actually over in this area right here. But you can see it. You're going to just come straight on down. You can't miss it. So anyway, come on down, run this canal, keep running south. Once you get into this area here, you're going to go ahead, you're going to pop out through this canal into this open area, just cut straight diagonal across to this canal here that runs to the east. And from there, you're going to run down until, let me get this clear here, there you go, until it uh, comes to here. It's well defined, you can't miss it. You're going to go ahead and turn to the south and run this canal all the way down. And you can see some of these cuts. If you can find this cut right here, this is the best one to take right here to get into this canal. Um, the object is to get from this canal to this canal without tearing everything up down here. You know, um, so raise your motor up, take it slow, drop it down to idle, whatever you got to do, but work your way through, see if you can find this cut through here. If you run to the end here, you're just going to run into kind of a dead end of vegetation. I'd drill, it's all matted up down here. So, uh, turn around, just do a little search and you'll find a way through to get to this canal here. Again, just take it slow, take your time, and you'll get there. Once you hit this canal, it's a straight run, straight shot down to here, to this intersection. And then when you make this intersection, you're going to turn and head east. This is about a seven-foot deep canal, so you're good to go. Good to run. Um, narrow, but very, very easy and good to run. Um, once you can run this all the way down, you're going to pop out right into, and I'm just going to call this a lake because really it 
it's a lake by uh, any other. If it wasn't in this big crazy place here, it would make a nice little lake and it's on its own to fish. So um, with that being said, uh, it's it's um, 30 feet, 30 foot in depth um, on up to seven foot. So let's go ahead and take this to the water and uh, get with Dave and let's show you what it looks like. So we'll see you there. All right, hey, Barry in. Dave. Out here on the lake. Okay, so we're in the south hole. This is where I've showed you on the map already um, where it is. I'm kind of giving you a little guidance on how to get here, but it's not one of those things I give you a direct path because things kind of change. So you're going to have to do a little figuring this one out on your own, but we're going to give you a look around this uh, pond. I mean, this little kind of lake. It's deep. Um, it does hold fish, sawgrass pretty much around the whole thing. So there's not going to be a lot of vegetation floating here. Um, we're running about 14 feet along the edges. Uh, a lot of uh, hydrilla going down in. Uh, it should be a good place to be punching some heavy baits through on the edges here. And there's some drop-offs as you're going back out. And Dave will probably show you there. Um, pumps and uh, we're reading some fish on the depth finder. So, um, hey, it might be one of those places you want to check out. It's a little bit difficult to get to. Uh, there's a lot of other places that are more north than this that you probably want to go to you know if you're especially if you're coming from out of town um you know this takes a little bit to get back to but with that being said we're gonna go ahead and do like we always do and uh switch over to the depth finder view and the lake view we're gonna try and do a um picture in picture on this one so with that hey we'll flip it around cut all right this will be a fairly quick video here because as we're moving across the lake we're moving from south to north right now you're going to notice on the depth finder a lot of Humps, bumps, ledges, brush piles, a lot of structure uh, down on the bottom here. Uh, lots of differentials in depth between 20-something uh, feet down to 30-something feet. Um, ranges of 10, 12, 15 feet between the highest and the lowest humps. A uh, great place to find fish holding right up against these ledges uh, down these deep areas. You're going to find them there you know, pretty much all year long. Uh, but it's a good place to go ahead and, and hit up. As we're moving along here, you can see this This is just a wide open area. There's no um, floating vegetation like there is in the rest of the lake to speak of. So you pretty much have an open area to fish. As you get up onto the edges, then you're going to see the um, sawgrass is all up around there. You're going to, in the reeds, and you're going to see the hydrilla comes out, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 feet off of the, uh, the edges there. So you're going to be able to fish up underneath that, throw some lures, punch through there, um, some heavyweight stuff, um, throw something right up along the edges. You're probably going to do pretty well as well. So uh, with that, rather than uh, keeping this going for too long, you know, you're getting the idea here. Lots of good places for holding fish in this wide open area here when it comes to the uh, drop offs and the deep parts. So um, with that, we're going to go ahead and jump over, as I promised earlier in the video, to the Fellsmere outdoor adventures bait and tackle shop we're going to catch up with uh, pat kelly and we're going to talk about the best two baits for fishing these deep areas the ones that are going to get the uh the most fish or the biggest fish in the boat and that's what you want at the end of the day so with that hey let's go ahead and jump over and visit with pat for a minute all right so we broke away from the lake for a minute we jump down here to get with pat owner of the felsmere outdoor adventures bait and tackle shop this is the place you're going to stop in to pick up all your lures, your baits, your shiners, whatever it is, minnows, you name it, you want to come on down here. So the section that we're covering today, obviously, is one big pond area that drops down really deep. So what we want to cover was a couple really good bait choices when you're fishing those deep areas where you got ledges going down. Um, so Pat, what do you suggest for the uh, well, guys, deep it's, areas and drop offs? You know, as you know, those deep pits are tough. But they're down there. I mean, we're marking some big fish down there, and I like I like to throw these jigs, these these goat swim jigs from from Gambler, and I'll put that little pocket chunk on there, and I like to match up the colors: black blue jig, black blue pocket chunk. Okay. I'll put that bad boy on there, and I'll just I'll bounce it off. You know, I'm mar I'm marking a lot of brush piles down there, even at 20 feet. You right. know, and uh, well, we've been killing them on this bad boy. And you know, once the bite slows down with this, we've got, I, we, I love to throw that shad wrap. I mean, this guy's, it's a, it's a number nine, but uh, she goes deeper than nine feet. And I've been really getting them good on this. And I don't know what it is. It's got that, it's that chartreuse stripe in it. It's black and silver, but it's got that chartreuse yellow stripe in it. 
and they're just eating this thing you alive. Feel like that man. chartreuse is making a difference. It's you know, catching their eyes. Makes me feel good about it. Yeah. I tell you, they're they're eating it though. They're eating the heck out of it. Right. I mean, it's, we know it's really been doing good. Yeah, and, and we were talking the other day. Confidence is everything. You know, if you're confident in a bait, you're going to take the time to work it properly, slowly, do what it's supposed to be doing. It. A lot of times we get stuck on baits where we're like, um, you give it a try for two minutes, this don't work because you're right. not taking the time to slow down. Right. When you're working this jig here, okay, so you're you're coming up over the section, you know, you're seeing that ledge drop off. Okay. Are you just straight drop jigging, just straight down, or are you casting and kind of bouncing around? I'm kind of, you know, with the electronics is nice. You know, I'm marking brush piles or I'm marking humps okay. in these deep holes, and so I'm I'm casting beyond my target. Obviously, I'm I'm wanting it to hit the bottom and just kind of bouncing it up and bouncing it off the off the bottom, okay. and working my way around that brush pile or that hump. Okay, great. And uh, and of course, you know, you, you you can swim it as well. I mean, you're, you're marking fish at you know 12 foot. You know, you get a feel for let it drop. It's it's three quarters ounce. Let it drop and just kind of swim it. Yeah. at that 10 12 foot mark okay yeah great okay folks so that's uh this is our bait recommendations for this area and any other deep areas you might find out here on headwaters or for that matter any of the other lakes where you're going to find deep areas go ahead and use a swim dig or go ahead and, and use uh this guy here yeah, right. with the uh chartreuse line and so uh with that hey if you need it you know if you're looking for these a lot of times you're big stores will run out of them, everybody charges and gets them, but hey, you can always find what you're looking for down here in Pat's Place, down here at the uh, Fellsmere Outdoor Adventures Bait Shop. Uh, we're right on Myrtle and 512, right on the corner. So yes. uh, you can't miss it. It's 15 minutes to the lake, so it's worth it to shoot past, if you're coming from Palm Bay area that way, just run right past it on, on uh, Babcock Street, kick off on 512 and you, you can find this in five minutes. It's easy to get to, and he's got everything. If you need shiners, you need whatever you need, he's got a great selection of stuff down here, so make sure you do that. So with that being said, hey, we're gonna get back to the lake, so we'll see you there. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for this one. We're gonna go ahead and finish up by giving you one last look around this area. Again, it's just wide open, uh, but it's really deep. You're gonna see humps and bumps and ledges and all kinds of great places for fish to be hanging out and hiding and uh, definitely take advantage of the two baits that we talked about over there at Fellsmere Outdoor Adventures with uh, Pat Kelly there. They're uh, going to add a, uh, you know, if you don't use these baits already, they're certainly ones you're going to want to add to your tackle box. So uh, with that being said, just want to go ahead and give you a quick reminder that we are going to begin our lake updates, fishing reports. We're going to be doing that on a weekly basis, going live on Facebook and YouTube. So uh, if you have not yet subscribed and hit the notification bell, you probably want to go ahead and do that. So uh, you can be alerted when we're doing our next update as far as the, uh, you know, what we're looking at from the previous week, what the new week's looking like as far as uh, fishing, recommended baits, lots of cool things, and some special guests. So it will be a good time for everybody. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So um, with that, hey, leave us a comment below if you like this format, if you like the addition of uh, the recommendations on the baits, uh, if you like... Uh, you know, if there's things you don't like, hey, tell us, hey, I'd rather see it this way or that way. You know, we're always, uh, we got an open ear here and uh, we're here to help out everybody. So with that, hey, good fishing, everyone, and we'll uh, see you in the next video. Take care.